milling is actually the application of some mechanical pressure to crush the grains so that you can obtain the flour so what is milling actually it is the ground grinding of wheat for human consumption and this is the most important definition which is being used by so many books to define milling that is the separation of bran from the endosperm is actually milling separation of bran from endosperm and another very important definition is making grain more desirable for human consumption so by milling you can make it more palatable more desirable now these are the three objectives of milling in milling the grains are being cleaned and tempered i'll be discussing this in detail when we are going to do milling of wheat grain so grinding clean and tempered grain to completely separate the bran from the mealy endosperm and to thoroughly pulverize the mealy endosperm into middlings semolina and flour now why grain becomes more palatable after milling because so many layers which cause some problem in the palatability like bran they are being removed but bran and germ they are rich in proteins b vitamins minerals and fats after milling the product which we obtain that is flour it is being devoid of these components like bran and germ they are being removed so the palatability it increases but the nutritional value actually decreases by the removal of bran and germ you are removing so much protein b vitamins minerals and fats that's why the nutritional value decreases but somehow the palatability it increases the particle size is considered to be most important during milling for example like endosperm of rice and barley it should be one piece while large grains are desirable in maize if you are going to get the broken rice you are going to this like that so the size is very important the particle size is very important during the milling of grains these are the three parts of the wheat grain already discussed with you students this is endosperm which is 85% bran is 12% and the germ part is 3% the bran is the outer layer that the size and contains b vitamins and trace minerals then endosperm it is the middle layer that contains carbohydrates and proteins and germ it lies here and it is having so much nutrition and fat in it healthy fats are present in this and mute yourself please those who are making so much noise mute yourself so this we have already discussed but, but this flow chart is going to uh, elaborate the things that how a wheat grain layers they can be defined so if you are talking about wheat kernel this is the wheat kernel here and it is having the outermost layer pericarp and the inner layer seed coat so pericarp it comprises bran and seed coats first layer seeds first layer is seed coat then the mealy endosperm and the third part is embryo so seed coat is also comprised in bran so pericarp and seed coat and the outermost layer of endosperm that is ileon these three layers they comprise bran pericarp seed coat and outermost layer eleuron of endosperm eleuron layer this comprises the bran part now if i talk about endosperm it is all starchy endosperm which makes the white flour the white flour is made from this starchy endosperm then the third layer that is embryo it is having three parts scutellum is the outermost layer of embryo and it the germ part it comprises scutellum the embryonic axis and epiblast 
So from embryo we get the germ. So the structure of grains already discussed. The bran outer protective covering. It is a good source of vitamins and fiber. And you all know that why you need fiber. So that you can attain those peristaltic movements of your food in the intestine. And it gives you the feeling of fullness. Then endosperm, it makes up the largest part of the kernel. It is rich in starch and proteins. And very less amount of minerals or fiber is present in the endosperm. And it actually supplies the food to the plant during germination. And germ, it is the reproductive part of the plant, which is rich in vitamins, minerals, proteins, and fat. And it is the smallest part of the kernel. So from milling, basically you are getting two types of grains. One is whole grain and one is refined grain. Refined means the white, which is devoid from all the bran part. So whole grain, it is having three parts. One is bran, one is germ, and the 